Hey guys, welcome back to Hype RC. In today's video, we're gonna go over the two full chassis offered from Enjora for your Traxxas TRX-4M. The very first version they came out with is a full carbon fiber version. This is the Kangaroo, and it is much better looking in person than it was online. So now that I've got it put together, very, very nice, very high quality. And then the newest release that they just came out with, I could not wait to get my hands on this one. Just got it in, just got it put together. This is the Tarantula. It is a 1 18th scale Capra for your TRX-4M, so that is super sick. So we're going to get both of these over on the bench, take a look, talk about the pros and cons of both, and then in a future video upcoming, we're going to do a build with both of them and then run them on the course and see which one outperforms the other. Stick around and check it out. So let's take an up-close look at the two full chassis that you can buy for your Traxxas TRX-4M from Enjora. So we're going to start off with the Kangaroo. This is a solid carbon fiber build. It is very, very nice. We'll go over the pros and cons of both of these. And then this is the newest one that just came out. And this is the Tarantula, which is a Capra style chassis. Very cool looking. So we're going to go over the pros and cons of both of these. We'll start off the pros. We'll do the Kangaroo. So the Kangaroo is all carbon fiber. It comes with a very nice set of stainless button heads that thread into metal rods, which is very nice. It's very stiff. It's an extremely stiff chassis all the way around. I really like it. Very nice looking carbon fiber. Uh, definitely kind of maybe a setup for a very nice comp rig. And then, of course, being able to thread into metal shafts is always a bonus. With this, you get all the hardware. You get an included Allen wrench. And then you get a nice little velcro battery strap to strap your battery in so let's go over the pros of the tarantula so with the tarantula one of the first pros is you get a really cool light bar um, the scale look of this is is just going to be super cool uh, the other thing is uh, i actually got this in clear i custom painted these in orange myself so you can actually customize this rig with whatever color you want or they offer about five or six different colors that you can choose from if you don't like painting it also comes with all the hardware it comes with two very nice sets of Velcro patching to secure in uh, your hardware inside. It comes with a nice little three wire splitter and then of course all the hardware and an Allen wrench. So let's go over a few of the cons for each one of these. So one of the cons with the kangaroo is that it's it's not customizable like this like you can customize this to be your very own this anybody that runs the kangaroo you know they're pretty much all going to look the same um and then it's an intermediate level build um it's not the easiest thing to put together and the instructions aren't really extremely helpful with how to do so but kind of you know just lay everything out and get it all put together and uh, i think i'm going to build a heavy comp rig out of this one so let's talk about a few of the cons with the new tarantula so with the tarantula uh the biggest con i think is is that it takes these teeny tiny little screws that takes the point zero five zero allen wrench and unless you have like an sex 24 you probably don't have one of those in your kit and uh it threads into plastic so all these screws thread into plastic on this so you have to be very careful tightening these down um it was actually it was an easy build but if you go and start over tightening these screws you're going to start stripping it out and you are going to junk this thing out pretty quick and then one of the other cons is is that it, it's a little flexible you know it, it's not extremely flexible but there's a tiny bit of flex in there so I think I'm going to try to do a very lightweight build out of this one and I think it's going to be super dope once we get it done but I custom painted these a really neat orange and uh, Enjora has done a fantastic job with both of these so I'm going to have a separate video coming up for each one of these and then we'll do a run out on the rocks and see how well they perform up against each other in an upcoming video but Enjora has done a really cool job and the one thing that I really like about the tarantula is that this will be a true 18th scale Capra size build as where like the UTV 18 is actually more of like a 12th scale and everybody was kind of really wanting to see what an 18th scale Capra looked like and Enjora listened and they answered and they threw in lights and a bunch of extra goodies and you can customize the panel so I'm super excited to get this together and I'm, I'm really excited to kind of get this heavy together and see how well this performs it looks a lot better in person than I thought it did online so uh, this is actually a really really nice carbon fiber chassis for not very much money so uh, these are going to be awesome so stick around subscribe and like and uh, you'll be able to catch on how these perform later on down the road 
So let's get some quick measurements and weights on both of these and see how they compare with each other. So we'll go ahead and get these guys on the scale and see what the weight difference is. So the kangaroo is coming in at about 42.3 grams and then the tarantula is coming in at 46.6. So this is roughly four grams heavier than the kangaroo is. And then let's go ahead and get some dimensions on these side by side. So when we line them up where the shock mounting locations are, the kangaroo is about a quarter inch taller than the tarantula. And then the tarantula is about seven eighths of an inch longer on the front end from the shock mounting location. So this rig is a little bit heavier and longer. This one sits a little bit higher, but is lighter weight. So that's the difference in the weight and size difference on these two. So I really like what Enjora has done with these two full chassis builds, you know, completely opposite ends of the spectrum for both of them. I'm, you know, really excited to do a heavy build with this carbon fiber one. And then we're going to put a lot of weight down low, get that 60, 40 bias on this one. And then with the tarantula, we're going to do a lightweight spider build, which just makes sense with this rig. Uh, they both have multiple shock mounting locations so we ought to really be able to get the suspension tuned in on both of these rigs and then i just got done rebuilding the entire front half of my outdoor rock course so we're going to get these guys built up take them out there and hit the rocks and see which one performs better don't forget to support your local hobby shops bash crawl repeat hit that subscribe and like button for me and ring that bell so you can catch my next video we'll see you next time